Hello and welcome to another edition of excellent knowledge base videos. Uh, today I'm going to be covering the XML parser and explaining to you how to use something called a reference port. Um, so the agenda for the video is as follows. Number one, the definition of a reference port and why we'd want it. And then I'm going to go through the process of using it and then how to verify the values. So first of all, you have an existing mapping and with an XML parser transformation where you're taking data from a source and you're creating an XML, a midstream XML parser, which is a XML document which you're going to pass on to preferably a Oracle target uh, as a club or uh, an, another type of XML uh, target like a flat file you may transform it along the way. That's why we call it a midstream XML parser. And what a reference port is, is in essence a pass-through port. And in this case, what we want to do is we want to infuse this particular XML document with file ID and submitting state, and then pass these ports near the bottom here as a dollar pass-through port into the expression transformation here. So you can see there. And then pass it on to the target. In this case, we're using SQL Server. So the requirements for doing this is, first of all, you've got a port. And what will happen is that every port that you define here, other than the data import, input port for the XML parser will be a candidate for the reference port. And as you can see, it's field and then field one. So in my case, it's file ID and submitting ID. And the process for doing it is as follows. Mystery parser, XML editor, then you go, this is your main view here, you click on add a reference port. And these are the two candidates that you have. And as you can see here, this is me adding that in again. Uh, the way you, that's the basic process, the way you validate what you have done is basically to pass it on downstream as I showed you before, in this case, it's ref ID. Let's follow these two. So in this case, I actually am not passing it further along. But this is just an expression. If you were, you'd pass this to a flat file and then run the mapping and verify that it's there. And that's that's it for now. So for more, in summary, for more information, you can refer to the XML transformation guide, and you can use the knowledge base using terms XML parser transformation to determine if your current issue meets this or you need some additional support. As always, uh, if you have some feedback, or need some additional information such as the example for this, you can always email support videos at informatica.com or check the Twitter feed. Thank you for your time and have a good day. Bye bye now.